I have just bought a brand new car from the money that I have earned from Google Ads. But guess what? It was just a dream. You wanna know how much I have actually earned? Let's find out. On a December 15, I have published my app on a Play Store, and I have uh, integrated a reward ads where uh, people would earn digital coins in return for watching ads. I will tell you how much I have earned from it, as well as the reason behind it. Here is how much I have made for a one month. Yes, sadly. But there is more to it. First, I haven't made this app to earn real money from it. This was just an experiment. And even though I haven't made much, I have learned from it and I will share some uh, useful information with you. Before I share some uh, tips and tricks, let's see an ad mob report from the previous month. From here you can see that I have earned about uh, $12 for a whole month. The most money I have earned immediately after releasing this app on a Play Store, because that's when I have promoted this app the most. And that's when I have added the most rewards in the app itself. Down below you can see that uh, India was the number one country that uh, most of my impressions came from. Then we have uh, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Indonesia and so on. Sadly, these countries uh, have some of the lowest uh, CPM, which is uh, short for a uh, cost per mile or cost per 1000 impressions. In total, there were about uh, 4,100 or uh, 4,300 requests that were made towards the ads in my app. Around uh, 3,000 impressions and an average CPM of uh, 3.20 euros or 3.70 dollars. Now, what the lessons we have learned from that? First, as I have already mentioned, this was just a test. To be able to earn a lot uh, from ads in your app, you would need a lot more people using your app on a regular basis. I'm saying on a regular basis because even if your application has over 1 million installs, you wouldn't earn much if you only have a few thousand people visiting your application every day. Lesson learned, you need more regular viewers and not installation count. At least when we are talking about the ads. Next, the quantity. A good idea is to publish as much apps as possible. That way, you will have uh, multiple sources of income and there is also a higher chance that uh, one of your many apps explode in popularity and make up for the others. Now, that doesn't mean that the quality of your applications should suffer in that case, because if you want regular users within your applications, then you need to provide a high quality applications with fewer bugs, great user experience, etc. Lessons learned, become a proficient developer who can build high quality apps quickly. If you want to become one, visit my website. Next, the CPM. If you are planning to do any kind of a promotion of your applications, it's a smart decision to do that in the countries that have the highest CPM rates like Saudi Arabia, Canada, Sweden, Hungary, Germany and other countries that are on top of the list. Lessons learned, you should definitely invest more time into promoting your applications, even build a whole web presentation to showcase your work. Then we have a regular app updates. You should definitely invest more time into your application updates to bring some new features. Or otherwise, if you think that you're just gonna publish an app and earn from it for the rest of your life without any extra work, you are wrong. I have spent so much time fixing bugs, paying attention to little details, testing my application with my own testing group and so on. Lessons learned, the more you test and fix your application in alpha, the less work there is gonna be in a production. Now, I'm planning to publish uh, some more applications on a Play Store in the future, and I will definitely document my experience and share all the information transparently as I progress. What do you think about that? Do you have some interesting advice or experience that uh, you would like to share with others regarding the revenue on a Play Store? If so, be sure to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next one.